Hello YouTube! Crafting is here, back with another video. So, I'm drawing another picture of my baby Naomi this time. I'm sorry my video is late this week, it was supposed to be done on Tuesday, but didn't get done until Wednesday, so yeah. Anywho, um, life happens. But anyway, I wanted to draw my girl Naomi. Um, I wanted to kind of actually talk about something about story development. Um, this character has been revised more than my I can count really. Her hair, her actual design has changed from her hair to her story and the whole plot to the whole story she actually is part of. And I kind of wanted to just talk about that and how not to be discouraged if your story like turns upside down, inside out, and you have to scrap the whole thing. Trust me, this is kind of something I had to do with this story. To be honest, um, this story was originally with hybrids where there were um, half animal characters, um, half human, half animal. And as much as I wanted to stick with that, I also wanted to steer away from the whole anime thing. And I kind of wanted to do some more realistic um, ideas, I guess you can call it. And yeah, and for this story, I was really... I wanted to get a certain point across. I wanted a certain um, idea to be told to the story. And from the original story, it wasn't getting told the way I wanted it to. So I decided to change the whole story. I scrapped it. I kept some of the main plots, but I restarted it pretty much. So for this, what I wanted to say was don't be discouraged if you have to scrap an idea. On, I've done that many times with a lot of my stories where I literally had to revise the whole story and I just wanted to give you a reminder don't be discouraged by it some of the greatest ideas some of the greatest stories were written from people revising their stories can't tell you a single one off the top of my head but I can tell you I'm pretty sure some of the greatest stories were done that way and I just wanted to say just do it just go head on into the story this is probably the fourth revision to this story it's and the title of the story has gone through four revisions the character designs have gone through too many that i can count the plot has gone through its second or third change and i just want to say don't be discouraged if your plots and your stories go through a billion different revisions before you finally get the final product out um yeah, like this character, I said it before in the last video I made her in, she used to have silver hair, she used to have cat ears, and I decided it's time for a change. I wanted to get out of that anime style, and I made her have brown hair, kept her purple eyes, I was thankful I could keep that because I love that about her, and I just changed up the whole story, so now it's more based off a story and an idea that I can really focus on. And I'm like, you know what? I can really tell a story and relate with a lot of people with this now. And that's the basic idea of what I got from this story and the new idea. So I originally, this is the first time I recorded this, was more about the picture. But this time I really wanted to get a point across about not worrying and being discouraged about revising your story and developing it. Because that's how you get a true story. You revise, you start over you get second give it a second chance it's kind of like how life is you give yourself second chances nothing's going to be perfect the first time around so i just wanted to give my little two cents about that here is the final product of my baby naomi and yeah i just want to remind you i'm gonna say it i'm gonna sound like a broken record don't be discouraged if you don't get it right the first time and you have to scrap an idea and restart it over i'm still working on this story honestly so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys uh, enjoyed um give this a thumbs up and subscribe and god bless find me on instagram under art by nessie find me on deviantart through crafty nessie and yeah thanks for watching bye